Who he say he chose? Come on, you know. Who? Do you? Right. You? Right. You? Who right. you right. To be a special people. What he just call you? He said special. That's right. Special right. to the Most High God. Read. Unto himself. He said only to him. Read. Those words are what? A fool. A what? A fool. Are you equal to anybody? No. Hell no. You a fool about people on the face. Yes. So now you got to ask this question, where did we get this picture right here? Wake him up. You on, where did we get this picture? Where did, where did we get this picture, Sheriff? Make it clown. Huh? You right, Google. Do you know that this was an actual man? His name was Caesar Borgia. Yeah, you know that right. this man was a homosexual? Do right. you know that this man slept with his own sister? Yeah, it so up. now you can wonder why America promotes homosexuality. Yeah. Yeah. Now you can see why America promotes same-sex marriages. Because they worship the God who had the spirit of homosexuality. That's uh, right. So, do you like being lied to? Bring it do you like being lied to? Does God love everybody? You say what? Yeah. You say yes? Why would you say yes? Come on! Because he, he, he forgives everyone. Okay, so I got a question for you. Your people, right? Do you do you think they told us that yes sir? Do you think God loved everybody when all this stuff was happening to us? You know? you know? Do you think the slave master was saying God loved everybody when he was whooping our ass? Make it plain! Make it plain! Huh? Come on! No, but he gave us all free will. Free will? That has nothing to do with God love everybody. Yeah. For instance, let me see if I can uh, predict the witchcraft that's on our people today. Do you, you know a scripture called for God to love the whole world? Wake him up. Look, look at the witchcraft. Look at that. You heard that scripture before? But how everlasting life. Now watch this. What does verse 14 say? Bring it out. What does verse 14 say? Bring it up! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what does verse 1 say? Come on. You don't know. You know why? Because God loves the world of Israel. Hey. That's, That's who the world is when you read John chapter 3, verse 16. Bring it up. Read Joel chapter 2 and verse 27. Bring it up. You know, all we're doing, we're here to break the lies. Come on. Hey. It ain't no racist campaign. Right, right. It ain't no hatred towards anybody. Come on. We just teaching Bible. That's right. what the Bible say. Joel 227. Bring it out, go Joel. Chapter 2 and verse 27. Bring it out. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. God said he's in the midst of who, King? Bring it out. Pay attention. He's in the midst of who? Israel. Israel. Yes, who did he say? Israel. Who did he say, sis? This texting right now. He's in the midst of who? Israel. Read. That I am the Lord your God. What that means? He said, I'm the I'm the Lord your God. Explain to me what that means. He's saying that he's our God. He's whose God? Everyone's. He didn't say that. That's not what he just said. He said, I am in the midst of Israel. I am the Lord your God. Right. Right. We can't act like we don't understand basic English. Right. I am the Lord your God. Come that possesses That's right. right. Keep reading. And none else. What does none else mean? No one else is. Nobody else. Yeah. That's so right. God loves right. who? Israel. Israel. So my next question should be, who is Israel? Bring it up. So why do you think we brought you over here? I've been passed by. Because you're Israel. That's right. You're Israel. That's right. You're Israel, sis. God loves y'all. But you don't know your identity and who you are because we had went into idolatry. Right. Y'all right. celebrate Christmas, celebrate Thanksgiving, celebrate Day of the Dead, celebrate right. Cinco de Mayo. Right. All these are the idolatry uh, heathenist customs. Right. And don't worship any high holidays. That's right. We got Day of Atonement coming up. Right. Tabernacles coming up. Yeah. Do you know what Tabernacles is? You don't know what it is. You know why? Because you have been destroyed from your heritage. Yeah. Yes. Right. We're trying to bring your heritage back. You're not Mexican, bro. Right. You're an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. That's right. You're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Right. Right. Do you know what it means to be the tribe of Judah? You're supposed to be the head front. 
We follow you. You are supposed to be a lion. Right. So what color is Christ? Come on. He's a black man. What's his nationality? Hebrews 7 and 14. Come look at this sign. Come look at this sign. Right here. Come here, King. Look at this. All right. What does it say right here? Judah. You know what that means? It means God's praise. That's right. That means everybody should praise the so-called black man. Yes, sir. You understand that? We don't look like we get praised right now, do we? Who is that right there? What do you see next to this? American You know the mentality you have today is American black? You don't even know what Judah is. Come on. You don't know how Judah dress, how Judah eats, how Judah acts. Right. But you know what American Black is. Wake him up. You know TikTok. Jesus. You know video games. Jesus. You know lying to your parents. Jesus. You know stealing. You know that because that is systematically put on American Black. That's right. You understand that, right? So you are from the tribe of what? Judah. You are an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Now what does God require of you? Do you know? Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. Bring it on. You know how special you are, bro? Do you know that? Give me Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Where your father at? Okay, come on. He at home? Your mother and father together? All praise. You know a lot of us, we don't have that in the household. That's right. You know that. You got a lot of friends who don't know their father? You know what I'm talking about, right? Watch this. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Read that. Bring it on. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Bring it on. Young man, let this soak in your spirit. Read. For them. Or in holy people. What did God call the black and Hispanic? He said, You're what people? Yep. Holy people. Holy means to be separate. That means whatever the world do, you don't conform to that world. You sit on top of that world. You're supposed to rule that world and govern that world. You understand that? What club was that at? <laughs> that was. Admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they. I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. That's what y'all do. <laughs> then after class, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. What the hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again. Who he say he chose? Come on, you know. Who? You, right. you, right. you, we right. to be a special people. What he just called you? He said special. Yeah. That's right. special right. to the Most High God. Read unto uh, Himself. He said uh, only to Him. Read the a voice. A what? A book. A what? A book. Are you equal to anybody? You Hell no. You above all people on the face That's of the right. earth. Right. You walk around and you see the Edomites, the white people. You above the white man. That's you right. above the Chinese man. Right. You above the Will you smoke? Bring it out. Will you drink? Bring Would you out. get drunk? Would you hold out your sisters? Bring it Would out. you lie to your parents? Bring it out. Why? Because you above all people in this world. Yes. Yes. Right. You know you're gonna be a judge one day, and you ain't even gotta go to college. That's right. Give me first up. This after six and verse two. You gonna be a judge one day, and you ain't gotta do a lick of college. Yes. Bring it out. You understand that? Watch this, 1 right. Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 2. Wait, we we all, don't we all know that, man? Look at 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 2. Read out! Do you not know? He said, don't you know, King? Read. That the saints shall judge the world. You're supposed to be judging this world. That's right. right. But when you judge the world, you're supposed to judge according to what? The law. Right. right. How can you be a judge if you don't know the law? Right. Come on. You understand what I'm saying? That's right. How are you? 13 years old. You obey your parents? Keep it on it. You be lying to your mama? A little bit. You do? Why you lie? You know? I don't like getting in trouble. You don't like getting in trouble? Okay. Okay. Dude. I don't like getting in trouble either. Right. But you got to be honest, bro. Give me that in Exodus 20. Bring it out. We, could just, we just gonna go to the Ten Commandments. You're not supposed to lie to your parents. What happens That's when you right. lie? You ever see young men get shot down in the streets? He tried. You see how people get shot down in the streets, right? He you see the little bro brothers who be dying over drill music and stuff like that? Wait, you know why? Dude. You know the root of that is because they're disobedient to their parents. That's right. right. Give me that, Exodus 20. Honor thy father, read. The book of Exodus, 
chapter 20 and verse 12. Bring it out! Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land. What did they just say? That thy what? That thy days may be long upon the land. So if you don't honor your father and mother, what happens to you? Bring it out. Give me 1 Samuel chapter 2 and verse 6. What happened? Jeez. I get trouble. That's not what it said. It said, honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long. Right. That you may have a long life. So when you don't honor your father and mother, what happens? Long life. You die early. Right. That's Who right. you think kills you? Bring it up. Who is that? Bring him up. Who is that? Huh? Teach. I can pray. Watch this. Read. The book of 1 Samuel, chapter 2, and verse 6. Bring it out! The Lord kill it. The what? The Lord kill it. Who kills? The Lord, the Lord kills. Right. That's right. That's right. You remember back in the days with Noah? Ark? He built an ark, right? He destroyed everybody on the earth but eight people. That's right. right. Yes, sir. You know what? There was little babies like you walking around. Right. There was grandmas walking around. That's right. right. I didn't give a damn about that. He destroyed all of them. Jeez. How y'all doing? Who is this right here? Hell no, they ain't Jesus. Hey, that's right. That's right. Jesus is a black man according to the Bible. Y'all know what that's right. Right. That is funny to y'all? No, I'm just like. Who we'll talk? Can you I see this in the Bible? Either. Have you ever seen that in the Bible? Bring it out. Show me in the Bible that this There's is Jesus no Christ. I'll give you a thousand dollars. There's right no now. pictures. Okay. You're okay, right, so right. so where we get this from? The same people who conquered us. That's, That's right. right. Christopher Columbus gave okay. us that. Oh, 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 now you don't want to get into I don't want to get into color, but when our people get shot down in the streets, now we want to lift up our fists talking about okay. Hispanic. Oh, oh, oh. Black power and black power. Oh, oh, oh. Right. We're going to continue to get shot down in the streets until we acknowledge what our Christ looked like. Right. Right. You would be considered the Antichrist if you don't believe that he came in the flesh as a black man. That's, That's right. right. Read this. 1 Samuel 2 and 6, read. 1 Samuel chapter 2 and verse 6. Bring out the Lord kill it uh -huh. and make it the Lord. Break. He break it down to uh -huh. the grave break. and break it up. So that's why we're going through the oppression that we're going through. Right. Because we're not, not only are you disobeying your parents, but out. you're disobeying God. Right. Break. So what are you going to do about that? How are you going to stop doing it if you hang around people who do the same thing as you? Teach, right? You ever heard that you're a product of your environment? Hey, come on. You can't become a god if you hanging around niggas. Right. You understand that? You got to surround yourself around God. So what should you be asking me? How can I do better? How can you do better? First, give me Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. Bring it up. Where, where you live at? You live in Bryan? Where's my Bell at? Right here, sir. Who's staying Brian? I want you to link up with that brother before you leave. You understand that? You need to share this information to your father that Christ is a black man. Right. And you are an Israelite from the tribe of what? Judah. From the tribe of Judah. Yes. Don't, ever yes. Don't ever forget that. And you must keep God's commandments. Yes. 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 Read what you got. Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. Read it. Yes. 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 yourselves together. What did the Bible just say? Yes. Read it again for me. Gather yourselves together. What are we supposed to be doing? We got to get together. That's we all right. we got, bro. Right. We all we got in this world. Right. We got young men at the school that look just like you. Right. You understand? But they obey their parents. Right. They don't watch porn. They don't do any of that stuff, bro. They do what they're supposed to be doing. Right. We're training them to be soldiers in this army. Right. You want to join the army? Come join this army right here. Give me right. chapter 37. Bring you you want to be in the army. This is the army right here. Yeah, this is the right. army that never dies. Come on, this is the right. army that's not fictional. Right. This ain't no damn Avenger movie. Right. This is the real army of God. Right. 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 You understand that? Oh, yeah. An army full of black, Hispanic, and Native American men. Oh, that's right. Right. Immortal bodies. Right. You understand that? With powers to be able to fly. Right. To sleep across buildings. Right. To destroy all the enemies who came against us. Yes. Oh, right. How do you feel about what happened to our ancestors? Don't that make you mad? We want vengeance upon the enemy. Yes, That's right. right. You understand that? You got to get that back in your body. Right. Don't right. be no docile, effeminate young man. You understand that? That's All right. that emotional stuff, get rid of that stuff. Right. right. You are growing to be a god on this earth. That's right. right. David was at 13, around that age, he was ready to slay the Philistines. Right. You understand that? Hey, That's I want to bring up the next teacher. I'll keep going. Matthew 26. Give me Matthew 26. You know? You know? 
So what did you learn? Tell me what you learned, King. Teach. Move aside real quick. Move aside. What did you learn? Hey. Jesus, huh? You from the tribe of Judah. You're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That's right. What color is Jesus Christ? Black. He's That's a black man. right. And you believe that? You believe what we said, right? Not because it was our words. It came out of what? It came out of what? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is 